What's going on YouTube? My name is Brian Swanson and welcome back to another episode of Swanson Skateboards. Now for today's episode, I'm going to be opening up and testing the Tech Deck Jump and Grind. Now the whole time I've been filming this intro or trying to, I just been wanting to call this the Bump and Grind. <laughs> I know, stupid jokes, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to be testing this out for you guys, opening it up and all that good stuff. Before I get into it, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in and ladies, whatnot. And uh, I've been, I appreciate it for you, those who've been subscribing and commenting to all my stuff and all that. It really means a lot to me. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's get right into opening this up right away, guys, and then we'll test it out afterwards. All right. So just like always, before we open it up, we're actually going to take a look at the outside packaging. So right away, you get the jump and grind already assembled right there. It's jump and grind. And it actually shows you what tech deck you get inside, which is the Toy Machine Daniel Lutheran Pro, Pro Model. And uh, the back side right here just shows you everything that comes inside this packaging. You got the hubba, you got the rail, you got the jump, the stairs, the connectors, like the quantities too, how many you're supposed to get. Uh, little stoppers right there. And then it also shows you the tech deck also you're getting. Okay. So I got my box cutter right here. I'm gonna try to be civil with opening this up and not be like a kid on Christmas day opening a present. So Let's see if we could do this without making a big mess. They just really want you to rip this open, don't they? Well, I guess we gotta cut some more over here. Okay. Right away, cardboard. Remember, recycle this, everybody. Okay, so right out the gate, we're getting a ramp. Nicely wrapped ramp. Another wrapped up ramp. Let's get this closer for you guys so you can see. I guess since it's already poking out, we'll take a look at this. Yeah, all this just wants to spell out, so be careful. It's easy to lose this stuff. Get a look at the tech deck. And this is one of the wider boards too, because it has those uh, rubber bushings and then the metal cups right there. So yeah, you got all the connectors right there. Like I said, be careful. It's easy to lose all that stuff. We've got some instructions by ju just by what looking at these instructions this is going to be like 10 times easier probably than putting together that uh the Nigel houston skate park obstacle and if you haven't seen that check it out i have a couple of videos on it more paper got the stairs this time i know it looks like just one big mess Last but not least, we got the rails, plastic. And we got the hubba. I was just about to say we had it all, but then saw the hubba just sticking in there still. Okay. Final luck, everything's gone. So yeah, here's our, uh, I guess you can call it somewhat organized mess, but uh, yeah, with the power of editing, of course, I'm gonna put this together for you real quick so you're not gonna watch me struggle trying to put this together for a little bit. So, catch you in a sec. All right, so here's the skate park all assembled now. Give you a better look at it all the way around. Yeah, so this skate park only probably took me like a few minutes to put together. It was super easy, self-explanatory really, but if you still need the directions, they're there for you. Uh, but anyways, let's get right into testing this, guys. I can't wait.
All right, so that wraps up the testing portion of the video. And uh, let's just talk about the park itself after skating it. For how simple of a design this is, with just a hubba, a couple rails, some stairs, and a couple jumps, and for like the size of it, like it's not like too big, but for how big this is and what's on this obstacle, you could have unlimited uh, combos and tricks to pull off on this, just like what I showed you. This was a blast to uh, test out, and I recommend picking one of these up for $14.99 totally worth it. I, like I said, I pick it up at Target. I'm sure you could pick it up at a Walmart or wherever store you can that sells tech deck supplies and whatnot. But yeah, this was totally worth it. And I had a blast testing it out for you guys, opening it up and all that. So to conclude this video, thank you guys for tuning in to Swanson Skateboards again. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your partners. I'm going to palm that into you again right there. But you guys take care wherever you're at. Have a good day.